mga kawaw, mat, in this video, we will discuss illustrating the slope of a line. So, what will be our objectives? First, we will define the slope of a line and we will enumerate examples up as representations of slope in real life. So, I have here pictures. So, ano nga ba ang slope? So, given this hill, ito po. So, paalin ba dyan ang slope na tinutukoy natin? So, when we say slope, ito po siya. Okay? And then, dito sa ating roof, yung bubong ng ating bahay, ito po yung ating slope. And then, yung ating stair, ito po siya. So, when we say slope, this is referring to the inclination nung line natin. Gano siya katarik? Okay? So, pag sinabi natin slope, it is represented as the line Uh, yung line na uh, near to perpendicularity. So, mas steep, mas uh, matarik siya. Okay? So, paano natin malalaman kung anong line yung mas steep o which one is steeper, alin ang pinaka-steepest? Okay? So, pag sinabi natin slope, it is referring to the inclination, yung pagtaas ng line near to perpendicularity. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin slope, basta hindi siya flat. Okay? So, pataas siya. Alright. So, let's proceed. So, consider the statements below. So, the staircase is steep. You can slide down the slope of a hill. The right pitch of the roof allows dust and leaves to be washed off by the rain. The photographer tilts the model's face towards the fading uh, sun to capture the best light. So, these words like steep, slope, Pitch, tilts are used to describe objects that are not perfectly flat or perfectly upright. Okay? So, pag sinabi nga nating slope, ito yung line na hindi siya flat. Hindi siya perfectly upright. So, near to perpendicularity siya. Okay? Now, so the slope of an object may be steep or gradual. So, pag sinabi nating steep, ito siya yung masyado siyang matarik. And then, gradual yung near to, ano na siya, yung malapit siya sa flat. Okay? Malapit na siya dun sa base. Okay. So, what is the slope of a line? So, the slope refers to the steepness of the line. The slope of a straight line is defined as the ratio of the vertical rise of the line. So, ito po siya. To its corresponding run. Okay. So, pag sinabi natin rise, this is the change in y. So, kapag rise, ang move natin ay parallel doon sa y-axis natin. Kaya nga, change in y. And then, yung run natin, this is the change in x where we are moving doon parallel sa ating x-axis. Okay. So, halimbawa, ito, this is your point x sub 1, y sub 1. And then, this is your point x sub 2, y sub 2. So, given these points, so paano natin makukuha ang rise over run? So, the change in y over the change in x. So, ang rise natin will be this one. Ito po ang ating rise. So, ayan po. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang pagkuha natin ng rise ay parallel siya doon sa ating y-axis because rise is referring to uh, the change in y. While... Your run is here, okay? So, sa x naman siya, parallel siya sa ating x-axis. So, your rise, this is your rise, this is your run. Now, the question is, uh, pwede ba na dito yung rise natin? Yes. So, pwede naman dito, this will be your rise, this is your run. Okay? So, rise, run. So, dito, in this given example, our slope here is positive kasi going to the right siya. Ito naman, um, pwede, uh, this is also a representation of positive slope. Bakit? As long as your line increases from left to right. Okay? So, this will, is your rise. This is your run. Pwede rin po ito, rise, run. So, the coordinates of the first point are given a subscript of 1. So, kapag ang point natin, yung first point natin, eto ang ordered pair niya. So, x sub 1, y sub 1. And then, yung coordinates po ng ating second point are given by the subscript of 2. So, x sub 2, y sub 2. So, ibig sabihin, kapag sub 1 siya, eto yung first point mo. Kapag sub 2, 
this is your second point. Now, how do we read points? So, given this example, paano ba natin ito babasahin? So, we, we can read this as point P with coordinates X sub 1 and Y sub 1. So, yung point P natin, ang coordinates niya raw ay X sub 1, Y sub 1. So, point P with coordinates of X sub 1, Y sub 1. How about this one? So, paano to binabasa? So, y sub 2 minus y sub 1. Sub means subscript. Okay? So, again, this is the illustration of your slope. This is your rise. This is your run. Or pwede rin po ito, rise over run. Okay. So, the slope of any non-vertical straight line. Now, why do we have this? Why this is highlighted? Okay? So, pag sinabi nating any non-vertical straight line, for any graph, kahit anong position ng line natin, basta hindi siya mag-vertical. Okay? So, hindi po pwedeng mag-vertical ang straight line natin kasi that means undefined. Okay? So, for any non-vertical straight line containing the points with coordinates x sub 1, y sub 1, ito yung first point. And x sub 2, y sub 2, ito yung second point natin, is defined by the formula. So, ganun pa din. This is your rise. This is your run. Now, yung change in y natin since our rise referring, is referring to the change in y. So, that is y sub 2 minus y sub 1. And then, yung run natin, this is the change in x. So, this is x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, paano natin kukunin itong y sub 2, y sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 1? Pupunta ka dun sa mga points mo. So, y sub 2, kung ano yung coordinate mo dito, ima-minus mo ito. Kung ano yung coordinate mo dito, ima-minus mo ito. So, this is how we get. Dito natin malala, uh, makukuha ang slope ng given line. Okay, but there are many ways in finding the slope. So, yun po yung mga susunod nating video after this. Okay? So, remember na this is only uh, applicable for any non-vertical straight line. Okay? So, hindi, hindi ito po pwede dun sa vertical. Bakit? Kasi vertical lines are considered undefined. So, yun po yung ipapaliwanag natin sa mga next videos. Okay. Now, remember. Ito nga po siya. So, remember that your x sub 2 minus x sub 1 shouldn't be equal. Okay? Hindi dapat sila equal. So, bakit nga po hindi siya pwedeng mag-equal? Kasi once na nag-equal sila, let's say x sub 2 is 2. So, and your x sub 1 is also 2. So, 2 minus 2, that will become 0. And kapag nag-0 ang ating denominator, that means undefined. So, kapag nag-undefined, nagiging vertical siya. Okay? So, take note, non-vertical. So, ito po ay gagamitin po natin to find the slope sa any non-vertical straight line. So, remember that your x sub 2 and your x sub 1 should not be equal. Okay? So, which is the steepest? So, given this illustration, so I have here five lines with five different slopes. So, I have here five lines intersect at one point. So, meron akong ditong five lines na nag-intersect dito sa isang point. So, given the illustration, paano natin malalaman kung alin dyan ang pinaka-steep? Okay? So, alin dyan ang pinaka-steep? So, by mere uh, observation, kung titingnan lang natin yung lines, ang makikita natin, so sabi ko nga, mas matarik, mas steep. Kasi when we say steep, matarik yung lines niya. So, mas mataas yung inclination ng line. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo, eto po yung pinaka-steep natin. Siya yung parang, ano na siya, no? Patayo na, perpendicular, malapit na siya sa perpendicularity. So, that is, this is the steepest. Okay? Ito po. Now, how are we, we going to make sure? Paano tayo makakasigurado na etong slope ni M sub 3 is the steepest? Okay? So, we need to make sure. So, by mere, mere observation, ito yung nakita natin. etong M sub 3 na line. Okay. So, paano natin malalaman na ang um, M sub 3 na to with the slope, yung M, slope ni M sub 3 na line ay ito yung pinaka-steepest? So, kinuha ko yung mga slopes nila. 
Okay, so remember and uh, that the larger the slope in absolute value the steep, steeper the slope. So kapag daw uh, siya ang pinakamataas na value after mong kunin yung absolute value, siya yung pinaka steep. Okay? So, kung halimbawa hindi given itong mga lines na to at given ang slope, makukuha pa rin natin yung kung alin ang pinaka steep. Okay? So, kinuha ko yung mga slope nila ni M sub 1, M sub 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, ito po yung mga slope nila based on the illustrations. So, kukunin muna natin yung absolute value nilang lima. At ito po ang mga sagot. So, M sub 1, 1 third. M sub 2, 1. M sub 3 is 3. M sub 4 is 2. M sub 5 is 1 half. So, these are the absolute values of the slope given by the illustration. So, ngayon, nakuha na natin yung absolute value. Remember to get the absolute value bago natin makuha kung alin ang pinaka-steep. So, given the absolute value, ano ang pinaka-mataas? Kasi the larger the slope in absolute value. So, which one is bigger or larger? So, ito po yung M sub 3 natin. Okay? So, this is the steepest. So, given the illustration, ito po yung pinakamatarik na line. Ito po yung pinaka-steep. Now, ginamit natin yung uh, uh, slope nila para ma-identify, ma-verify na M sub 3 nga ang pinaka-steep. So, that's it. Okay, so let us answer this one. If line P has a slope of 2 fourths and line R has a slope of negative 2, which of the two lines is steeper? So again, ito si line P, ito si line R. Ang slope ni line P ay 2 fourths, ang slope ni line R ay negative 2. So what is the, paano natin malalaman? What is uh, one way of finding uh, which line is steeper? So, get the slope, I get the absolute value of the given slope. So, that is 2 fourths and positive 2. So, therefore, line R is steeper than line P. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.